JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, is woman when we get so far, said resident, as water continue to rise around New Market. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. On November 10, popular local Den Von Hansen was largely dismissive of the threat to New Market by rising waters. There would have to be very intense rain in the hills for the small town just inside St. Elizabeth's northwestern border with Westmoreland to be flooded. Hansen said back then, when asked about water rising down from a usually dry water course called Hogwall. It's a man rain where I get so far. You're going to need man rain for flood way out, he said then. Even as water crossed the distant fields and roadways, blocking the Carmel Road into eastern Westmoreland. Hansen's optimism of two weeks ago appeared to be justified then, since the water seemed far away. But last Friday, 11 days later, Hansen struck a different note. We could be in a problem, he said, as he watched from a roadside bar, as motorists carefully negotiated a spreading, growing pool of water at tire height on the New Market to Montego Bay Main Road, 400 meters from the center of New Market. Just 70 meters away from the roadside bar, on the Beersheba Road, a much deeper pond blocked traffic close to the Beersheba Primary School. In fields, pastures, and farms around New Market, growing lakes and rivers were seemingly everywhere last Friday as hogwall water continued to run in a steady flow. It getting closer, but it's still far, one hopeful local said, in an elevated basin surrounded by hills, New Market. A crucial junction on the road linking St. Elizabeth and eastern Westmoreland, extending through eastern Hanover to Montego Bay and St. James, has a long history of flooding. The most recent episode was 2010, when rains associated with Tropical Storm Nicole overwhelmed the town and the surrounding areas overnight. The most famous case was in 1979. Heavy rains over a long period caused extensive damage and grief across Jamaica, and the left new market submerged for months, as swollen underground springs and currents in the hills above, as far away as the cockpit country, surged to the surface. On Friday, less than half a mile to the west of New Market, the blockage on the Carmel Road into eastern Westmoreland at the merging of two ponds either side of the road called Two Sister had obviously risen by several feet over the previous 11 days. The two sisters, named for two sisters, said to have died in the 79 floods, is now a massive, growing, moving body of water. Worryingly for locals, water surging across open fields could end up cutting off an alternative route into eastern Westmoreland through Kilmarnock. On Friday, water flowing steadily was at Ankle Height at one spot on the road to Kilmarnock. When contacted by telephone early yesterday, Member of Parliament for East St. Elizabeth and Northwestern, J.C. Hutchinson, was clearly worried that the water around New Market is coming up, even while saying there was no immediate threat to the village centre. He noted reports from New Market late Friday that it was raining heavily up there. In normal circumstances in Jamaica, rain in September and October subsides in the late months of November to December through January into February. But Hutchinson observed that this year, where the forecasters had predicted wet weather all the way into early 2021, what to do? It's God's handiwork. We just have to hope for the best, he said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember, subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.